Financial literacy is just something that should have been in school back when I was going to school. Let's go. Hello guys, welcome to a vlog. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. Welcome to a vlog. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Join the gang, join the family, be in there, like swimwear. If you haven't down with me and rocking with me since day one, welcome back to a vlog, baby. Morning time, it is Tuesday, August 29th. Oh my gosh, August 29th. The month is over. The month is over. I am about to drop Macy off at school and then i have to go to target because they forgot to take off the sensor on my leggings <laughs> and i need some cream uh not creamer i need coffee and i need my syrup so i was gonna go to target to get that really quickly i saw some garland that i really want because i want to start decorating um i told myself like in september 1st i was gonna start decorating it's so hot outside still because we're going through this little hurricane we're well, not little but you know going through this hurricane and georgia's getting some weather from it but i still want to start decorating for september i need to put my nails back on they fell off oh but how was y'all week y'all how was y'all weekend um thank you guys so much for watching my vlog and tuning in i was nervous about bringing out a long vlog but i knew it was gonna be long because i had to catch you guys up so i just knew it was gonna be a long vlog but um thank you guys so much for tuning in i had to like inform y'all of everything and y'all know i haven't put out a vlog in like a couple of weeks so i wanted to make sure i was all caught up with you guys all the hauls were out all the stuff so we should be caught up and well off to start this vlog macy is in the back say hi hi <laughs> this carpool lane is long and it's only a couple more minutes until the kids start school. I'm tired, y'all. I have money in my savings account that I just don't touch. I'm so proud of me. Celebrate the small wins. Like, you know, if you say you was going to do something, even if it's small. Like, say you was like, oh, I'm going to take out these pile of clothes I've been sitting by the door or whatever. And you did that, like, just congratulate yourself. Because I be doing, like, small things, and I just be thinking, like, nothing of it. And I really need to start congratulating myself more. I, I started it, but I'm going to start doing it more. Because it's, it's a big thing to me. To, like, just, it's just big to me. And I'm proud of myself. I really am. Macy, come over here to that door. You got your lunch. Uh, make sure you get your lunch. Grab your lunch. Look at the twins. That is so cute. Twins? Let me see. Yeah, you see? You see the twins? They got the same book bag, same hair. Yes. Oh, well, they might not be twins. They might just dress alike, but they look just alike, so I think they twins. I think some of them is older. Oh, one of them is older? She might be older. You're right. <laughs> she might be older. Because open that door, Macy. Get your lunch and open that door. Macy need to help with that door, y'all. <laughs> that door is uh heavy. Y'all cannot believe there's four more months left to the year. I have been, I've had a rough year, yo, 2024, baby, don't repeat. I I repeat, I do not need a repeat. I repeat, I do not need a repeat of 2023. I do not, okay? I know I had to go through this year. I know I had to go through this year because of 
where I'm at in my life. But man, when I tell you, I don't want to go through it again. <laughs> Amen. Don't want to go through it again. No thanks. Please do not pat. Do not stop. Go. Don't want to go through it. I don't know if you guys are into your birth chart, but I'm very much into my birth chart. I feel like that is God's footprint of our life like it was already written in the stars and the skies before we were born so that birth chart is like our footprint and Pluto has been in my sign Capricorn for the last like 15 years since 2008 um, and it doesn't leave until January 2024 Pluto rules your career your money your finances it completely breaks down all those aspects in your life moving it, it, it breaks down all those aspects of your life if you look it up you're welcome to look it up and when I tell you I have been in that transit for so long especially the last year I'm ready to get out of the storm it's been one hell of a trip Pluto thank you but I'm ready to get off the ride mm -hmm. focus well I have been thinking about the last four months of you know the year and I'm just like wow you know, I'm I'm happy, but I'm like, dang, this year has been rough, baby. Like, I done went through so much. Like, you know, I, I, I just went through a lot. I have went through a lot. I started off the year doing my yoga, my therapy. I've been through my therapy. I was going through anxiety. It was just health health wise. I wasn't doing good. You know, I lost. I was losing like a lot of weight. It was just. It's been rough. <laughs> Like, it's been rough. Let's just keep it real. It's been a rough year. This transit has kicked my ass. Okay? So, um, yeah, I'm just, I am happy it's, it's, it's about to be over. But yeah, now that there's like four months left to the year, I'm just trying to enjoy those months because these are like the four best months, I think, of the year. All the bird months are like the best, like, and I'm not just saying that because I was born in a bird month. <laughs> but, you know, I don't want to beat my own horn, too, too. But, you know, you know, I'm just so excited for the uh, next four months. Just to, you know, finish out the year strong. Um, the plan has been uh, really showing out this year. So, I'm pretty sure there are people out there who who, who done been through it. Whether you show it or not, you you probably been through it, too. But congratulate yourself, because, you know, we're pushing it through. We're pushing it through. But I didn't want to talk too much, because it's 18 minutes. I'm bugging. All right, I'll see y'all when we get to Target. Let's try the apple bake for Mmm. Tastes good. Mmm. Now I'm sitting down inside Target eating, practicing my slow mornings. Even if it's just for like 10 minutes. Slow mornings. Came here to Target just to be cool, calm, and quiet. And have time to myself. Get something small like this. Maybe I'll just get this instead. It's smaller. Be anything else. You guys seen all this stuff already. This is from like last time. Y'all, they have these graphic tees. Can y'all see me? Okay, they have these graphic tees. I like like graphic tees I can just throw on with like this one is only $12.99 with like jeans and stuff. I think I'm gonna get this. I wanted a Nirvana one. Okay, I don't even see any other graphic t shirt like that. This nice, this Budweiser shirt. I be needing like just graphic shirts I could just throw on. Let's see what else they got. See these skirts? This is really cute and it's thick. They have the green one too. It's super cute. I don't know. Should I get this? I wish it was black. Alright, y'all. 
I think I want to get this for the coffee station. It's $9.99. I want to show you guys my coffee station, how I revamped it, but I think I'm going to grab that. I was thinking for like a gold. Because I don't need nothing too big. Like I see this right here. But I don't need nothing too big. Oh, they have a... No, I have a... They have the lighter ones right here, but I... This one's $14.99. But I don't need that. Oh, they got all the pumpkins. Okay, we're going over there. But let's look at this real quickly, huh? This right here is nice, too. It's $20. I wanted something different though. I did want something like gold. I love this right here. Not with this green right here. This one right here is $30. It's really pretty. I know they're kind of pricey with their like florals. Cause like literally went to Hobby Lobby and found some for way cheaper, but it's still beautiful. It does not take away from how beautiful they are. And then my wreath. Is this the wreath I got? Alright y'all, I got this garland. It's in the cart already because I want to put it like on my fireplace. And then I love these florals. These right here, they're only $5. So I picked up two of them because I think they're so pretty. But I could do $5. Like that's not bad. $5 is not bad for these florals. I had the leaves ones too. And then they have all of their Halloween stuff with the threshold line. Like they have everything. If you're decorating for like Halloween and stuff, they have a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, they have pumpkins. I need to go over there. They have this black pumpkin. It's $20. It's really pretty. And then they have these throws, which I don't know what road blanket to get y'all like I really I really don't know I was thinking of green I was thinking of like this really burnt orange color let me see how much are they oh they're only $20 that's really cute You might get that. Yeah, I just got home and I'm so mad because I just broke a candle. It is shattered. Let me show y'all. It is shattered. I was gonna show y'all what it looks like, but it is shattered. So I have to go back up there because I want another one. Like I'm not about to pay money for it and it's shattered, so. Oh, see, let me not break nothing else. No, let me not break nothing else. Let me calm down. Okay, we're gonna do a quick call. I ended up getting some, um, I ended up getting some coffee. I haven't had that kind in a long time, but I need some. And then I got some Tarani syrup. Why is the thing? And I ended up getting some Tarani syrup because um, I'll show you guys. Y'all probably can see my coffee station, but I ordered these like syrup pumps finally. And I'm going to show you that later, but finally ordered some. I ended up picking up this. I showed you guys this at Target, I think, but it's the Threshold um, Garland Oak Leaves. I plan on putting it right here by the fireplace. Um, so yeah, I got this. This leaf right here was only $5. It's a stem lemon leaf. But I like the colors of it. It matches my scheme. Got this. Tray from Threshold. It's for decorative abuse only, not food safe. So it's just a little tray with like this trim around it. Just like trim around it. Anyways, I wanted to put it right here. Yeah, 
that looks good. I'm gonna put it right there, which like I said, I have these syrup pumps to pour in. And then I don't know if I'm gonna leave this here. Let me show you what I did. So this is what my coffee station is looking like now. I changed it all around. This pumpkin I got from Aldi's. And then my minimals book I have right here with my baby breasts. I just want to leave the baby breasts in there because I feel like it gives it more of a clean, welcoming type of feel. This tray I got from Marshalls like a long time ago, TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods, one of them. Um, it's really big, as y'all can tell. That used to be right over here, but I moved it. And then this canister I got from Marshalls, only $6. I don't really put anything in it. I was thinking of putting gold spoons in it, but we'll see. But yeah, I have these pours or syrup pours that I want to put down here. And I don't know if I'm going to keep my mug. No, I'm going to keep my mugs in here. I have all my mugs up there, so... I just think this looks nice and cleaner, really cute. I'm also heating up my baked apple croissant from Starbucks that I got, so I didn't get to finish it in Target, so I'm heating it back up. The last thing I got was this burnt orange couch. I'm gonna wipe off my couch, um, get all the crumbs off, because Macy loves the couch. Like, she be on the couch all the time. That's, that's her bed. And I got this color because I really think it's going to bring out my living room and tie in all the colors together. Because I have this too, so I just feel like it's going to like bring in all the falls, fields. It actually looks good. So yeah, that's all I got. And I went to go take the tag off my leggings, finally. I don't know if y'all can tell. It keeps blurring, but yeah. Okay, so I'm about to relax for a little bit. It's only 1024. Well, to relax for a little bit and um, start getting ready for work. I'm interested to see. I feel like this is like a different smothered chicken recipe than I used. Okay, y'all. Hold on. Because um, she uses like... All right. <laughs> I am dressed, as y'all can see, sitting in my... All right, I showered. I'm clean. I'm fresh. I'm sitting at my desk. I'm about to start work soon. I was just watching McKenna's vlog. I had to catch up on the girls, y'all. Like, I watched Chelsea's vlog already. So I got Chelsea's vlog down. Um, I watched Lauren Allure's vlog. She has like really, really good um, home decor. I like her home decor videos. And then um, now I'm watching McKenna's vlog, which y'all know, if y'all watch McKenna's vlog, she be putting out short films. Damn a vlog. It be short films. Like I usually put her content on and have it playing in the background just like while I'm like mopping the floor. Like literally she had her, I had her video playing and girl, I done mop my floor. I done cleaned the living room. I done cleaned my rug. I done. <laughs> she just gives. Um, she just. She just gives productive. So she makes me productive because I'm like, oh yeah. I throw her vlog on, and then I start um, doing my thing. I still watch them, but like she just gets me going with my whole day and stuff. But it's about to be two o'clock already. I feel like. The time goes by so fast. Like Macy be in school at 8.15 to 2.15. I just feel like that that's fast. Like I feel like that's not a lot of time at all. I mean, it is and it isn't. Like soon as you like do your chores or go do what you have to do and you come back home, you don't really have time to rest. You just have time to like, I don't know, have a few short hour, hour and a half before the toddler comes back and I'm just like, what is going on? All right, I need I need to take these out the bag because I don't know why I got these separated. I need to take them out. Cause I know what you're going through. Don't let it get the best of you. Everything will be okay. We made it through yesterday. That song like from Destiny's Child, I don't think it was one of their like more popular hits, but when I tell y'all, I used to listen to that song all the time. It was just like a freaking song that got me through so much. <laughs> oh, it just got me through so much and it's crazy. Like, yeah, but I don't know if I told you guys before, but I'm just so proud of myself because I opened up a high yield savings account. I just was hearing about it on TikTok to be quite honest. I already had a savings account, but the high yields, like depend on your bank or whatever, it gives you interest back on what you put in there, depending on how much you put in there or whatever, whatever your interest rate is for your bank. 
So I opened one up and I started like putting my savings in there. I also opened up my daughter's a bank account because we were using like Go Henry, but they were charging so much. Like, I don't like when people charge service fees for every little thing. I don't like that. It makes me seem like y'all app is broke. So um, I ended up just canceling my service with them and then I just had their bank accounts. I opened up my daughter's bank accounts directly through my bank. So they have like a debit card, they have a routing number, they have a checking number, they have everything that they need for their bank. And we went to the store the other day, we went to Walmart and they were like, how do we use this? So I had to teach them how to use their debit card for the first time. And they were like, is this a real debit card? Like, this is actually like a real debit card. I'm like, yes, it's a real debit card. <laughs> y'all can swipe, swipe. Like, it's a real debit card. This is y'all. And it's just like moments like that just really made me just happy because I did not have a bank account growing up. I did not have a bank account at their age, you know? And it's not no shade to parents or anything like par our boomers. It's no shade to them, but because obviously things just... I mean, they did have access, but like just things are just different now. So it's no shade to them, but I'm just happy that I can do that type of stuff for my kids and I could just teach them stuff because, you know, I don't think a lot of people, I don't know, I, I don't see a lot of people being like open about how they grew up as far as like financial and all that because I did not have financial literacy when I grew up. Like I was taught how to do the wrong things and that's just real. That's just real. Like, I remember in high school, I was hanging out with my friend and I told her, I was like, we got to stop by the corner store because I got to use MoneyGram to pay this bill. And she was like, OK, cool. She, you know, you know, pulled up and let me go inside. And she was like, so you just paid a bill? And I was like, yeah, I had to pay our, um, it was either the light bill or the cable bill, one of them. And she looked at me and was like, I don't even know how to pay a bill. Like, I wouldn't know what to do. And those moments stuck with me because I'm just like, was I too young to be doing that type of stuff? Like, obviously, it was my mom's money, but, like, I was legit going into the money ground places and stuff and paying a bill. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like... I don't know certain things like I look at my children like my oldest daughter our oldest daughter is about to be 14 and like there's certain things that I just she has not gone through that I have went through at her age and it's not necessarily a bad thing because I don't know if I want her to go through those certain things that I went through because it's just like I don't know but I don't know why those certain things stuck with me but that particular moment stuck with me and I was just like I don't even know what I said to her after that I was just like oh okay like I don't know like I had a high I had a job all through high school and you know like paying bills working like it's just that was me in high school of course I had time to buy myself stuff and like you know buy myself shoes clothes or whatever but I don't know like I feel like now when we are like millennials and we are like in our older stages where we're like stepping into home ownership or you know buying ourselves like high price things or like being more financially stable with our money i don't know if people talk about how they got there like obviously you have to learn and stuff but like me i definitely did not have any type of financial guide to anything i made all the wrong moves right off the gate and i had to work backwards to clean up the stuff that i did to this day financial literacy is just something that should have been in school back when i was going to school it would have saved us a whole lot of drama and i cannot wait to like share you know my process of being able to obtain certain things coming from my background like i can't wait to share that yeah let me go ahead and start pulling up my computer and clocking in so that i can start my day good morning <laughs> it is the next day um, it is Wednesday, August 30th. I cannot believe it's August 30th. I cannot, I cannot believe August is about to be over with. Um, I can't believe that. But last night I went to work. Um, well, not went to work. I know I work from home, but I was at work. I fell asleep. 
after I got off of work. And so I did not come back on camera, but today we are finishing up the vlog because I'm gonna post it for Thursday. So if you're watching this, obviously it's already Thursday, but we're gonna decorate the coffee station and then we're gonna do the console table. I think that's what we're doing today. I think because y'all, I have all this decor piling up and I need to like get it out. I need to like get it out my hallways. I need to get it out the corners. It's just stuffed in the corners, all on the table. Like it's just too much and I need to hurry up and like get rid of it. Like, let me show y'all. Do y'all see this? I might put this spooky rug out, but I don't feel like buying a new rug. I know that Kirkland's has some really affordable rugs. I always get my rugs from Kirkland's, my mats. Um, I have a couple from Target, but I get mine from Kirkland's, like that one. But the way I'm decorating this year for outside, I think I'm just going to keep this one out here. I think I am. So this fall sign came from Target. That is going to go back up in the garage, not the garage, the attic. And basically this whole box, like my husband has to take this whole box upstairs, put it in the attic, and then bring down the other one because I have some stuff in there that I need to get. But for the most part, all that is going to go upstairs. This stuff is what I'm keeping out. I showed you guys this stuff yesterday with the throw. I just love this throw. It's gonna go so good on the couch. Mind you, I don't know what, like, it's just gonna go so good. It's gonna go so good on my couch. I have to fix my pillows and stuff, but I'm just gonna drape it onto the couch. It's just gonna go so good with it. This is pretty much the stuff that I'm keeping out. I'm keeping my cauldron because this is what I used last year to put candy in. So we're keeping that. Um, I went to Target and got another candle because I don't know if I told you guys, but the last one broke. It literally shattered. Oh my gosh, it shattered everywhere. But this one smells so good. Uh, it is the pumpkin spice. I showed you guys this yesterday, but y'all have to get this candle if y'all see it. Honestly, all these candles right here in this pumpkin container at Target, they all smell good. Like, I smell all of them, and there's not one of them that is disappointing. So, if you see these at Target, grab one. This one was $10. The bigger ones are $20. Um, so, yeah, they are all affordable to me because Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby, but Bath and Body Works, their candles are like $25. For now, we'll just do the coffee station because I feel like it's still August. Like, obviously, today is still August. Um, next vlog we'll decorate next vlog we'll be decorating we're gonna put all the decor out and then I won't be fully finished with decorating um, so I'm just gonna put out what I have and then I'll see what else I need I do know that um, I'm not going to decorate the outside outside is always last just because it's so hot and most of my decorations are from like pumpkins from the grocery store and stuff and they don't put those out until like mid-september or whatever so i'm going to decorate the outside of our house last i went to get the pumpkin uh not pumpkin i went to go get the apple what is it the apple croissant apple whatever croissant it's so good so good i was like oh my gosh i have to get it again i got it yesterday and i have to get it again i just keep yawning and i just had my espresso coffee but i just keep yawning i saw a meme that was like biggest flex is me having the biggest flex is me going to sleep after i just had coffee that is me like i will have espresso and still take a nap like it's crazy but i have a package from amazon that i'm gonna open up with you guys this box and this box okay so i ordered these candlestick holders i saw some at target but then i was like you know what let me go on to amazon and see if they have them for cheaper and they did so i think the ones at target were 25 dollars they were black i was looking for black candlestick holders this whole time i thought i had black candlestick holders Y'all, I thought I did. The gag is I didn't. All right, this is what they look like. I might move that house out the way, but I'm gonna put them over here. Simple black candlestick holders. This is like a bigger box than I expected. Oh, they're big. Ooh, so cute. I got these. 
Oh, they're big. <laughs> I got my jars. I got to wash them. I got my jars. These are for... Oh, it came with a little Sharpie thing. <sighs> Don't break them. I got these for my coffee station. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Here are the labels. Peppermint, peach, salted caramel. I want to get more just to put the stickers on, to be quite honest. Like, I got so many stickers. I only got two bottles. And then they got some... They got some blank ones too for you to write them down, but I will not be doing that because I got chicken scratch like a mug. Um, so they got pumpkin spice, chai tea, spice. Um, what's the one I need? Oh, they got lavender, kiwi, French toast, cinnamon, brown sugar. Okay, the only ones that I need, to be quite honest with you, is vanilla. Or they got French vanilla. Oh, I need French vanilla. And I think that's mocha over there. Do they have mocha? Oh, yep, mocha. It comes with a collapse, a collapsible um, funnel. And then this is the dispensers. So they look like that. I'm so excited because honestly, when my kids make coffee and stuff and they just be pouring up like, look, pumps, two pumps per person. To be quite honest, I'm about to relax because I feel like I've been rubbing and running every single day before work. And so today it's gloomy, it's rainy, the hurricane, like we're getting residue from the hurricane. And I honestly just wanna like lay in my bed, be cozy, watch TV and like wait till work starts. I have my like PJs on. I couldn't wait to wear these. I normally wear these around Christmas time, but I couldn't wait. So yeah, I'm going to eat my croissant. I'm gonna eat my croissant, lay down and watch my shows. And then we'll be back to decorate. <laughs> Macy's in the background loud on her game, <laughs> but I absolutely love how this corner looks. It's just like my own personal yeah, yeah, library yeah. corner, even though it's a coffee station. Like these bottles came out gorgeous and they're big. They're really big. I'm obsessed with them. And then I just put coffee pods on this thing. It's empty, but I can put coffee pods in here because I have plenty in here. And then I just put my little mug right here. These leaves are from Target. Aldi's, Amazon, Target, Target, Amazon, Marshalls, Marshalls. Keurig is from Target. So yeah, I love this corner, y'all. It's not doing too much for me as far as like fall decor or anything. It's not doing too much. It just feels cozy. Like it feels really, really cozy. And the stems go with my color palette for fall so i'm loving it even this pumpkin goes with my color palette i'm so excited and i just absolutely love it i love it i just love it i love it i love it so let me tell y'all what happened i'm about to end the vlog but let me tell y'all what happened first so i ended up getting a quote for this mirror y'all see this mirror i cannot wait to decorate the house because i have all these bags just sitting here like i need to hurry up and decorate but y'all see this big crack in the mirror right it'll focus i told y'all that mirror broke or whatever and i called in for an estimate y'all y'all know how much they told me it would be to fix this mirror 705 dollars 
Let me show y'all so y'all won't think I'm tripping. Do y'all see that? $705.94. Be for real. BFFR. This mirror was $199. $215. No more than that. I didn't pay that much for this mirror because it wasn't gold at first. I, I spray painted it. You think I'm paying y'all $705 to fix this crack? And I know y'all gonna say, oh, if I try somebody else. No, it's not that deep. Guess what I'm doing? I'm ordering a whole new mirror. I'm ordering a mirror off of Amazon. I'm actually taking my tape to figure out how wide and tall this mirror is so that I can um, order an, a mirror just like this. To be quite honest, I'm over the antique looking mirrors. Y'all know those antique anthropology dupe mirrors were like really popular in 2021 and now you can find them anywhere walmart i saw one at walmart that was nice but i think i just want a simple arch mirror like i just want a simple arch mirror like, i'm not even like going too deep with it so i'm about to find out how tall this mirror is six nine inches tall which is not bad because i saw one Hold on, let me look. Let me look on my Amazon cart. I found some pillows on Amazon too that match my throw from Target. Okay, so it's 69 inches tall. This one is 65 inches tall, 22 inches wide. See, this one's 31. <clears throat> so I just gotta find one that's 30, at least 30 inches. Yeah, y'all, I'm just gonna look online. I'm on break right now. Um, I'm about to finish work. I'm about to say I'm, about, I'm gonna order these pillowcases and pillows and then we'll start decorating Friday my camera's about to die so that is my cue to like end it I love you guys so much thank you so much for tuning in sorry this vlog wasn't as long but I'd rather make shortish vlogs and more frequent like you know but if I haven't been on here for a while then trust me y'all will get an hour long vlog but anyways make sure you subscribe to my channel if you not have if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe Brittober is coming up you guys, Britober is coming up. So make sure you are subscribed. You guys have a wonderful weekend. And I will see y'all Monday. I think. Or Sunday. Who knows? Sunday or Monday, I will see you guys. Love you guys. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. See you.